This is the book of Habakkuk 2 verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Recall Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Akadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles, a great millstone who rule well and teach well. Shout out to the hopeful like men that scattered abroad, pushing the truth without sincerity across the four corners of the earth. And shout out to a few, few sisters, right, that's actually taking heed and getting the ordinance at these last days. Round the brother Amma One coming to the quick video, Lord One is edifying. You know, going into the article that did come out, you know, uh, uh, on the fifth, you know, and it's pretty much another video, you know, uh, going into the MOTB, you know, blowing that trumpet, right, letting you know that hey, these times are coming, right? We're we're days away, weeks away, right, from this major prophecy to uh uh, uh going going to effect, All right? So it says UN says Bill Gates digital IDs will be mandatory to participate in society and i think i did a video like this already right pretty much he's pretty much it was saying you need the cbdc right and all of these roles right here are leading to what to the m to the o to the tv right all of these are re leading up to revelation 13 and 16 right but it's steps to it man right you know so like i said it said it um, would be mandatory right and let's see if i can get the word mandatory Right, required by law or rules, right? And that's that's what you know Esau's gonna do. He's gonna make a decree, an unrighteous decree, right? To 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 where pretty much if you don't have this, you can't function, you can't participate, you can't go to work, you can't pretty much live the America life, so called, right? It's gonna, be, it's gonna be a worldwide thing, you know, but I'm just speaking from Babylon. You know? Um well yeah, pretty much it's gonna be a worldwide thing. I take that back. It's gonna be a worldwide thing. Right, you won't be able to maneuver. Right, it'll be more tough to maneuver, right? But hey, when you got the spirit of your high bashing me, I was shy, I got the faith, right? We're not worrying about that, man. We know the Lord's still gonna provide, you know. So I'm just gonna get inside this article and bring out the precepts, letting you know that hey, these are the times that we're in, and the MOTB is getting closer and closer, man. Right, so Lord willing is edifying. All right, so it said the United Nations has announced plans to roll out digital IDs worldwide by the year, which will be mandatory for people who wish to participate in society and see the thing about it it says worldwide by the year so it could be from anywhere from today's date to 2030 which we believe it's going to be sooner than that because he giving you a end date right like i said so it's, it could be anywhere in between from here in, in, in 2030 and i don't really me speaking you know speaking as a man i don't believe it's going to be 2030 i feel like we might be up out here by 2030 before 2030 <laughs> right how things popping off right let me get this word by um it says no later than you know just the point right it says it won't roll out the, the digital ideas will roll out no later than 2030 which will be mandatory for people right who wish to participate in society right so if you still want to do things of this world right you will have to what bow down <clears throat> and pretty much you know disown your how about you know right i had a priest on my mind it just slipped my mind dang i'm gonna keep reading though it says the united nations right development program better known as the undp is launching a project right matter of fact gotta get that word project because at the end of the day <laughs> that goes to another priest i'm gonna bring out once i look it up right it says scheme, <laughs> right? Can't make this up. It says a scheme, right? So it says it's launching a project to advance the agenda, which will ensure all members of the public will be forced to participate in the scheme, <laughs> right? So Esau, hey, you here you have it. Esau is setting up a trick bag for people to fall into, man. You know, he, he about to drop a, drop a little play, right? And going to have those smooth words in there. Right, and he's about to get a lot of people that don't have the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shah on them. Right, speaking of, from the Israelites, right, the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, Indian. Right, so I'm gonna grab the word project. I'm gonna grab the word ensure. 
it's fucking with me, man. Right? Make sure, safeguard, to make make certain that something shall occur, occur or be the case. Right? We'll be forced to participate in the scheme. Right? So I'm going to grab a quick preset right quick. And I got to grab that. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. There we go. Right? It says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. And I'm going to grab that word device on the Google, you know, on, just on regular Google, you know. Um, device definition. Right. Because we know, like I said, we know these things are going to be. Um, uh, uh. We know these tactics that how Esau is moving is pretty much is going to be a tactic is is leading up to a snare. It's like him, right? So like you know, so second definition goes into uh plot of oh, like it plan a cunning plan a tactic move, right? And where is it that in there? There you go, right? Scheme. A large scale systematic plan or arrangement for a attaining a particular object or putting a particular idea into effect and what are they trying to put into effect right the the, the um the digital id right which is going to lead up to what the motb right that's that they're setting up the you know they're setting the base for it right there because with the digital id you're gonna need to you're gonna be able to basil the trade unless you have it right you're gonna have face scans right there they got the palm scans with amazon and stuff like that right they're just critiquing it Right to the point they're gonna critique it to the point where the mass is gonna fall into it because they don't know what's going on, man. They're they're sheeple, you know. They're gonna fall to the smooth words. Right. Um and I'm just read some more on this and I'm just bring out some more precepts. just you know, just proving the point, you know, right? Like I said, you won't be able to move you won't be able to move around. And Esau is definitely he is definitely putting pieces into play to where you're going to be uncomfortable, real uncomfortable to where only way out if you don't have the spirit of the lord on you is to surrender right so i'm gonna keep going it says the project is based on what's known as digital public infrastructure and that kind that's kind that's what it is aka dpi it says in and reports the unelected globalist organization justification for demanding that the human race be pinned down with digital ids right so pretty much you about to hey what is he gonna come down with great wrath you know, you're going to have a what? Revelation 2 and two and 10. You know, going to be inside these concentration camps to where you got to surrender. You know, he's going to box you in to where, hey, you going to surrender, man. You know, well, the elect not going to surrender, right? It says the unelected globalist organization justification for demanding that the human race be pinned down with digital IDs. Excuse me. Is the alleged necessity to reach the UN sustainable development goals, right? They trying they gonna make they gonna force the numbers. Matter of fact, what I'm about to say, uh um, is it Sirach ten and one? Let me check. What's the other one? It's like Walter to the Unrighteous Decrees. Isaiah ten and one, so like you know. Right, it says woe to them, right? Destruction because they gotta pay for that, right? Because look, they come at the same spirit, like just like how it was with Nebuchadnezzar, you know, making these unrighteous decrees, right? Pinning folks down to to follow their their way, man. You know, but just the point. It says woe to them that decry, so like, 
Woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievance which they have prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people that widows may be their prey and they and that they may rob the fatherless right pretty much you know because really this is going more so the israelites man because as long as the israelites are down right esau is able to keep ruling you know but since we're waking up right hey, he's coming to these decrees these unrighteous decrees to where hey, he can knock off as many as possible you know so back inside the article oh, yeah go back mm, yeah it says the unelected globalist organization justification for demanding that the human race be panned down with digital IDs is alleged necessity to reach the UN's sustainable development goals. It says DPI is a recently emerged buzzword used by bureaucrats and corporate elites during discussions of, about using technology to rob the public of their freedoms. Right? You got, they're about to come down with freedom of speech. They're about to come down with a lot. You know? It says, um, the, the push for DPI, digital IDs, you know, uh, Victoria's Secret passports and central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, is being championed by the globalist WF. The plan is also being backed in advance by Bill Gates and his foundation, the UN and the European Union. All right. I forgot where I saw. Oh, all right. Here we go. It says global elites claim DPIs are being promoted to aid development in several ways. However, that Salaki, however, what often gets lost in corporate speak is that the push for DPI is a ruse to speed up the introduction of digital IDs and payments with a deadline of 2030. Right. And I want to grab that word rules if I'm saying it correctly. Right. But it says, however, what often gets lost in corporate space speak is that the push for dpi is a what rules to speed up let's get that word it says an action intended to deceive someone a trick right go back to second second corinthians 2 and 11 right because end of the day like i said they're trying to speed this thing up, get you by 20 30 but end of the day right they're trying to get you to where you're bowing down a, a, a man, you know, fleshly men. Right, turn away from me. How about Shimei was shy? You know, it's like, yeah. it says to speed up the introduction of digital IDs and payments with a de deadline of 2030, right? And like I already studied that earlier, you know, it's like it could be anywhere, you know, from here on, here on there, here on there, right? So you know, that's just the points more on to it. You know, I ain't want to read too much of it, but kind of want to, you know, bring out a couple of the precepts. And like I said, low willingness, edifying. Right. So you want to say Bill Gates, digital IDs will be mandatory to participate in society. I mean, you got to play by their rules, man. You got to be you're going to be the rope is going to be even more tighter. Right. Um, Back in the book, I have a cool can't remember what I said. I started at verse 2. It says, And the Lord Yahweh answered me, said, Write the vision to make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. Right? And like, like, and what, what we always say um, each and every time, Trey, is the build up. You know, the MOTB is going to be the MOTB. What's going to lead up to the MOTB? They're going to put things in order. Things like this. You know? Right? And we're already breaking it down, letting you know what the MOTB is. Right? The, the consequences if you take it. You know, which you should not take it at all, right? You should be ready to get put to death than to take the MOTB, right? Or be a, and if you do, you'll be on the Lord's bad side, right? According to Revelation 14, you know, uh, uh, nine, I mean, yeah, for Revelation 14, nine on down, right? It's going to be the, it's the punishment which going to get, right? Those ICBMs going to be tearing your ass up, right? If you take that uh, MOTB. Right, it says, and make it plain upon table that he may run that reader for right. Once we tell you the the results of taking this, right, it should make you want to run to your how about you? I was shy and figure out how can I not take it, right? And that's what we're doing right now, right? By helping you build the faith to say no, right? Because like it said in the article, they're going to pin you down, they're going to corner you into a position to where you feel vulnerable to take it. You know, you're going to be vulnerable to take it, 
right? No food, no house. You know what I'm saying? You can't go to work. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much you, you're exed out of society, right? You go to the word, you know, kill in Revelation 13. Oh, no, 15, right? It's pretty much you're dead to society, you know? For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, right? And, and how we see things moving right now with this, you know, the WW to the three, right? With with, with them folks in the uh, Middle East going at it, brewing things up. Hey, that's that's going to cause that, man. It's going fin to cause a collapse in, um, in Babylon for sure, right? To where inflation finna pick up because you got a war going on, right? You, you already we hearing about banks already collapsing, you know. So hey, they're already the, the ball is already on point, you know. It says for the vision yet for an appointed time, but the end it shall it, but the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry, and that's what we're seeing right now. It's not tearing. It's really a hey, articles like this is coming out, and it's coming out constantly, right? Often, right? Um, it's the book of Proverbs twenty two and three. Right, a prudent man foresee the evil and hide of himself. Right now is the time to wake up. You know, when I, it's hot time to wake out of sleep. Right, because hey, we know sooner or later the door to mercy will close. You know, the Lord says, seek Him early, seek Him while He may be found through the servant of prophets. You know, help help build up your spirit to where you're able to turn this down. This this the are you ready to go against this decree when it when it comes? You know, when this thing be made mandatory. You know, we said, put the simple pass on and are punished, right? Because they're going to fall into that trap. They're going to love Esau's smooth words. And they're going to, you know what I'm saying? They're going to take that 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 uh, that jab with the MOTB, right? The Karagma, right? And you're going to be shit out of luck after that, man. Right? It's going to be open the season for them, right? Um, it's like, I read the other one. We're going to aim at the Satan devices, kind of. I was going to type Revelation 13, right? Revelation 13. I started at 15. You know, just to bring that point back up again. It says, And he had power to give life to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and call that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And what are they bringing out to, what are, what are they bringing to the forefront that you got to worship? Right? The Karagma. Right? And, and it says, and and cause that as many would as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed, right? And that killed going to, you know, a physical death for show, sure, right? For show, sure, for show, sure. and also being cut off from society. That's why it says in the article, right? It says it will be mandatory to participate in society, right? That that's gonna be your token, you know? That's gonna be your digital. That's gonna be your ID to move around. You won't be able to go inside of a store. You won't be able to go inside the store unless you have it. Hell, you won't be able to go inside your house without having how they how they're uh trying to, you know, critique things and so much AI and digital um digital things, right? You mentioned sure I can't even get inside your car, you know what I'm saying? Your house without having that uh, access, man. You know. Uh verse 16, it says, And he calls of all both small and great who that he Esau eat him, right? And he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive, right? Did on me. Going into the Greek word did on me. You know, to extend, to extend the hand, you know, to extend out. Right? To receive a M A R K, right, karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads. Right? And like we like we already been telling you week in and week out, <laughs> numerous of videos, right? It's gonna be that that grain of rice. That's how small the device is gonna be. You know, that's what that's what everything's gonna lead up to, right? When you break down the word mark. You know, dissected three times, you know, uh, uh, Karagma. Um, matter of fact, I don't want to butcher it. I just go to it in the blue letter <laughs> just to show it again. Right. Um, we break it down three times. Right. Dissecting it. It leads all to the MOTB. Right. Um. All right, you got the root word for this one. Karagma, what's the root word for karagma? All right, karax. Right? Karax, which is going to be the instrument, <laughs> right? The syringe, right? That, 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 that the MOTB will be inside of, 
you know, before they pierce the skin. You know, when it pierces skin, that's when it's gonna they're gonna push it out to where you know to inject the uh, the grain of rice inside you, right? And the, and the root word for carox is what grapho, which is gonna hold all your data. So like I said, the digital IDs is gonna hold all your data. You know, it ain't, it ain't no coincidence, man. It's just showing you that hey, this is the truth, right? They're starting off with the head apostles of Great Millstone, right? They're telling the 144 percent doctrine. You know, this thing will come to pass, man. And the MOTB is what? That that grain of rice, man. Right. So um, back in Revelation 13 and 17, it says, And that no man might buy or sell, save he that hath the M-A-R-K, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Right. Hey, you won't be able to function. You won't be able to move, maneuver unless you have that, you know, device. It's simple. You know, simple as that. Here's wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six, right? Zasta stigma, if I'm saying it correctly, right? And that going to the universal um, UPC, the universal product code, you know. So everything lines up, letting you know that hey, this this is going to be, right? <clears throat> this, this is the idea going to lead it to the MOTB, man. You know, so um, I'm also bring up the uh, Revelation fourteen and nine. Right, got to bring that out, and I'm gonna close out with one more precept, and, and that'd be that. It's Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man, right, if any man worship the beast in his image, right, the system that they've been roll out with, and, and, and what's gonna be the part of it that the MOTV, you know. And when you look at it, you got to think about how it is with, uh, like I said, with Nebuchadnezzar and the, um, the three holy children, man. You know, it made that decree, you know, and it was punished. It was consequences if you didn't bow down to it, you know, because they already knew, like, nah, these, we got we got laws that we're going by, man. And we got to got to hold that up. We got to stand firm to it, man. No matter what, you know, what is thrown at you, man. Like I said, we're going to be inside um, uncomfortable positions, right, from here on out. But when that be presented to you, hey, you, you got to be ready to tell them no. And, and be ready for whatever consequences behind it, man. Right? Because in the, the day, we know that we're being trapped from you. How about you, was shy? And we want to pass, man. Right? It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his M-A-R-K in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Shah, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb, right? That Lamb, Yahweh Shah, right? So, hey, and, and Yahweh Shah come with pure wrath, you know? So, hey, so for you to take that, hey, you're going to get caught up with pure wrath, man. Well, nothing going to be diluted. It's going to be pure, you know? Nothing but destruction. Man. You pretty much label yourself as missile food. The moment you think you're about to get in line and take it, you set yourself up to be missile food, man. All right, so I'm just letting you know, hey, this prophecy right here is coming down the pipeline, man. And I'm going to close out with this last precept right here. All right, we should see this prophecy, hey, like I said, in the, in the coming months, man, coming days. It's right here, the book of Ezekiel 33 and 33. And I'm going to say one more time, do not take the uh, uh, the MOTB when it's being presented. Do not take it. This is the time to build up your faith in your high by Shemel Shah right now to where you don't take it, man. Right? Ezekiel 33 and 33. And when this comes to pass, lo, it will come. Right? These prophecies, and mainly the one I'm speaking on right now, the MOTB. Right? Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. Right? The Lord sent forth warning first, always. Right? Warning over for destruction. So, right? Hey. We're telling you right now, you know, don't take it. It's going to come. You know, things will be taken away from you, right? You will not be able to move, maneuver around, right? But it is what it is, right? You have Hashem Hashem going to take care of us inside the time of tribulation like that, man. You know, a time like never before, right? But with that being said, I'm going to give out on the glory and praises to you. How about Hashem Yahweh Shah? Hashem Cracker Dash. Till next time, Shalom.